idea of having Sonic the Hedgehog as part of the racing genre is not something that you'll think it's uncommon. I mean, it is a blue hedgehog that runs fast. So what better way to have a spin-off series with this blue blur with a racing game? I think that makes sense. Sonic has always been part of this racing genre. We have many series that proves that. First off, we have the Sonic Drift series on Sega Game Gear, in which Sonic uses cars, just like his friends, for some reason. We have Sonic R, in which Sonic drops the cars entirely and runs on foot, but for some reason Amy still uses a car. Okay. We have other series such as Sonic Rivals and Sonic Rivals 2 on the PSP. We have the Sonic Rider series, in which we have cool overboards. And surprisingly, after Sonic Riders being such a unique series, we actually have another one that uses cars again, which is the Sonic and All Stars Racing series, which compromises of Sonic and All Stars Racing and Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed. And well, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. We can kinda join in this one the most recent Sonic Racing game, which is Team Sonic Racing. But this game is a bit different. While it is also made by Sumo Digital, which can be a Sumo Digital trilogy, it kinda... For the time that it was released, we can say that it was a missed opportunity. So today, let's explore why Team Sonic Racing was a missed opportunity. Hey guys, Sonic Station here, and today, well, today is a bit of a different video. I decided to speak about a game that I think it's kind of funny because it's not a bad game, but I think it is a huge missed opportunity, which is Team Sonic Racing. For those that don't know, Team Sonic Racing was a game released in 2019 for PS4, Xbox One, um and PC. I'm not sure if it has a Nintendo Switch version. If it has, I'll put here in the screen. So we can at least be okay with that. Well, Team Sonic Racing is a racing game in which you race as teams, as the I mean, name of the game implies. So, it is a bit of a different game, it is kinda like if you join Sonic and All-Stars Racing and, so and Sonic Heroes, you join it all together and you kinda got a new game. Well, I don't think that this game is bad or good, I'm not going to make a review out of this because there are tons of reviews on the internet, but I decided to speak a little bit about this game. Because, for me, it is not better than the predecessor, Sonic and All Stars Racing Transform, since that game was so much unique and it was really well executed. But it is a good game, basically it is Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing, if you added a, a team mechanic and a story mode that resembles Sonic Rivals and Sonic Rivals 2 on a console game and not on a portal game, but let's not stress about it. Well, what I think is that this game was good, but had a lack of support, and that was the part that really hurt the most Team Sonic Racing. While other Sonic games have had some kind of DLC that maybe was not justified, I think that this game was the perfect game to have DLC because it is a racing party game in which you race in multiplayer. I mean, isn't it weird when your main mechanic, which is teamwork, only has five teams to choose of? Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you? You you could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want. 
I think it's really weird. And don't get me wrong, I think Team Sonic Racing approached well the, their game in terms of not having microtransactions, but at the end of the day, it kinda was... How do I say this? It, has, it kinda was outshined by another game, which was released at the time, which is Crash Team Racing Nitro Field. And if you don't know that game, well, it had a ton of support, and I'm not sure if it's, it still has support, that is one doubt that I have, but trust me, it is a really nice game that kinda obliterated all the possibilities of success of Team Sonic Racing. But well, what's this missed opportunity of Team Sonic Racing? Well, since this is a Sonic exclusive game that doesn't have other Sega characters, for better or worse, I mean, when I look at Knights and Riala in Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed, I'm not sure if it is a good thing or a bad thing. And yeah, let's move on with that idea. But basically, it is restricted to the Sonic world. And it has some good characters that we already know. Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Big the Cat, and... Chow for some reason? Zavok? Okay, maybe it doesn't have the best cast of characters. No. Hi. Okay. But it has Dr. Eggman, so yeah, it's a good racing game and Metal Sonic. But, and of course, our Hedgelord Shadow. We can't forget that one. But I think that this game really needed some DLC with other characters and other exclusive things that will maybe make the game feel better and look better. I mean, the first question that everyone in the community had was where are Cream? And Espio and Charmy. I mean, you join Vector with Silver and Blaze. Where's the sense of that? And Willy Chow replace Cream? That's that's just ridiculous. I mean, we already know that Sonic games have a bit of a problem with introducing too many characters. But in a racing game, that was what was expected. And I think it was a really nice opportunity to maybe explore a little bit of your of your racing world. I think that was the right opportunity, because the game isn't bad. The game shines the most when you use your team, me team mechanics. Team mechanics are really cool, because you really cooperate as a team. Despite having three screens, which looks weird if you play local, but that's, that's out of the way. I think that it is really nice to coordinate with your team to win, and I think that was really a huge opportunity to introduce a lot of new characters. So ideas of new characters, of course, besides Cream, Aspio and Charmy, can be really diverse. So today I would like to present you my ideas for new teams and new uh, members? Yeah, we can say that because I want to adapt some teams so they make more sense in our idea. So, the first member that I want to introduce, which I think that it's really important, is Jet the Hawk. I mean, Jet the Hawk was the main face of Sonic Riders, along with Sonic, so how is Jet not here? And of course, we c you, can, you can join Wave and Storm and make Team Babylon. I think that was such an easy add-up to this game that it's really bad that he isn't here. Another trio that I, it came out of my mind that has been recently featured in Sonic Mania Plus, despite not being them but being illusions, is Fang, Bean and Bark. I mean, Team Hooligan is really cool to have and I think that they will really fit with maybe Fang being the speed character the tech character being Bean and the power character being Bark, so I think it makes sense. Also, if we put Cream in the position of Chow, why get rid of the Chow? Why not add two new characters to make a team out of it? Maybe, I don't know, with Tikal, which is a really fan favorite, that could be a speed type for some reason. Don't judge me, okay, it's a speed type. I mean, it, I think it fits. And adding another one that was 
Well, it was wasted in Sonic Forces, why not add Chaos Hack? You'll have a theme, which is Tikal, guarding the Master Emerald, Chaos, which comes out from the Master Emerald, and all the other Chao being the tech type. I think it's really nice and it could maybe lead to some team changes and a new story mode, which would be interesting, but of course, this game did not get that. Now, two other characters that I think would be great additions are Tails Doll and Mecha Knuckles, Metal Knuckles, I think it's Metal Knuckles, but I'm not sure, it's Metal Knuckles. Okay, sometimes I get confused with the Sonic Advance one, which is Mecha Knuckles. And maybe join it with Metal Sonic and make a reference to Sonic R, I think that would be really cool. But it was a missed opportunity, and of course, as a speed as a speed type character, so Eggman's team could be infinite. You know that one character that we never saw him again. That was so much hyped in Sonic Forces. Oh dear God! Yeah, we really need Infinite back. I think it he it deserves to be in a game, and I think this was a really nice opportunity for it. And if you are already seeing, just from the top of my mind, we are having some really nice teams that we could have. Now, I still have one more team and one more member. The extra member is to complete the Silver and Blaze team, which is really tricky. So I will make a really tricky choice that maybe will surprise you, but I would like to have, as a power type character, Sticks. Yeah, from Sonic Boom. Remember that one Sonic spin-off series that is never mentioned again that had games? Well, why not join Sticks to the mix? And you might be thinking, oh, but that doesn't make sense. But it kind of makes sense. I mean, Silver and Blaze knew each other from Sonic 06, but other than that, they really don't have much of much interactions as far as I am concerned. So it will be cool to have a future character, which is Silver, uh, an alternate dimension character, which is Blaze, paired up with an alternate universe character, which is Styx, and I think it made sense and it will make a reference to Sonic Boom, which was the most unique thing that we had in that series, that really should be preserved. And finally, I have another team, which would have as Captain Classic Sonic. Okay, okay, guys, that's maybe an overreacted reaction. Because I know that no one wants Classic Sonic back, but this was a great experience and a great opportunity to have him. And you know why? Because we could join to his team to characters that everyone loves which are Ray the Flying Squirrel has a tech type character and has a power character Mighty the Armadillo <laughs> Ah see now you like my idea and yeah making that reference to Sonic Mania and Sonic Mania Plus would be really cool and I think that no one would want to miss that opportunity and Joining all of these guys and making maybe a new story mode with a brand new race, I don't know, I mean, the current story mode that we have is already wacky, so you could figure out another story mode that will make Chao leave and Cream join in and and Team Chaotix all joining up together and Silver and Blaze having to find a new member. Well, you know, all those crazy things that could be made and you'll have a more solid game and I think that will be a really cool dynamic. I mean, new racers, I think that everyone wanted that and the new, brand new story mode, yeah, I think it was a really missed opportunity of Team Sonic Racing and I think that's the biggest flaw, which is the lack of support that this game ended up having and being outshined by Crash Team Racing Nitro Field and it's really sad because it is a good game and if you have the opportunity to try it out well then try it out uh, I would say it's a good good racing game so 
Oh, yes, and we have another thing that is Team Sonic Racing having an iOS version which is called Sonic Racing that for some reason is including an Apple Arcade service that never went to Android and that's really a big missed opportunity because there are way too many players in Android that don't have access to this game and it could be really fun to have access to this game and to try it out with cards and everything. Yeah, you know, because Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform in the Android, in the Android version was removed from the Google Play Store and everyone hates that. Stop it. Get some help. And that's basically it, so yeah, let's stop rambling for a while, and I would like to take this opportunity to thank you very much for watching. This was my, well, first commentary slash reviewish video, and yeah, while this was unscripted, I think I really passed on my ideas. So thank you very much for watching and I would like to take the rest of this time to thank everyone who has been supporting the channel as a fan, as a, as a sponsor in our Discord server and in ending up boosting the server and especially Sonic Crystalline which was the first one to donate since I have super chat that really means a lot and due to current restrictions I'm having really really a lot of difficulty to make this kinds of videos but if you like don't forget to leave a like subscribe I'll try to bring a little bit more of these kinds of videos thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one take care guys